Well, good evening and a very warm welcome to our continuing coverage of Liga FA. This fixture rearranged from match day one. It is Barcelona's first home match of the campaign as they host Valencia. A victorious homecoming for Barcelona, playing a competitive match in front of their own fans for the first time since winning the UEFA Women's Champions League in Eindhoven. And then, of course, seven of the Barcelona players were also part of Spain's World Cup winning squad. But attention now turns to retaining their Liga FA crown once again. This fixture originally scheduled for match day one. Most supporters have had to wait to see their heroes this season. A couple of away fixtures to start the campaign. But for the first time this season, Barcelona will be walking onto the hallowed turf of the Estadi Johan Cruyff. Valencia, actually the visitors for this one. They have won one, lost one so far this season as they look to improve on last season's ninth place finish. As the two sides make their way out onto the field of play, for the first time this season, Barcelona have a home fixture. It has been a year of success for the club, winning the Champions League in Eindhoven, retaining their Liga FA crown as well. Is this the start of yet another imperious campaign? Let's take a look at the two lineups then. Jonathan Geraldes ringing the changes, seven in total from the side which started at 12 the last time out. The only survivors are goalkeeper Sandra Panios, Marta Toria, who reverts to right back. Summer arrival Esme Brutz will play in a more advanced position on the left. Carolina Graham Hansen keeps her place on the right of the front three. to captains Alexia Pateas and Marta Caro. Paula Saboida Lopez is the official. Let's take a look at the uh, visitors lineup then. A defensive switch for Valencia boss Jesus Olivia, who switches to five across the back. Pauletta coming in at left back. Marty into midfield as Yanuzzi will lead the attack. And a special tribute for Alexia Pateas, who is being handed a commemorative framed jersey by Xavier Pug. It's to mark her 400th appearance for the club, which came recently. She's only the second player to reach that milestone after the great Melanie Sarano. A proud moment for Alexia Puteas. Well, it will be the visitors, Valencia, who get proceedings underway in their change kit. 
of all orange attacking the goal away to our left hand side Barcelona in their familiar colours attacking the goal away to our right the Estadio Johan Cruyff has been a fortress in recent years is this the start of yet another unbeaten season in front of their home fans Barcelona will certainly be hoping so early touch for Marta Torrejon is uh, shifted to right back for this one. She started the game at Cuelva in the heart of defence with Mapi Leon. But with Hannah Fernandez and Erini Paredes coming into the starting lineup, Torrejon has slip, uh, switched to right back. On a at left back. Is that Shepard behind for an early goal kick and an early touch for Enid Salon? In goal for Valencia. Curly Real at right back, one of five across the back line for Valencia. Jesus Olivia going defensive for this one. You can't really blame him, can you? Barcelona winning 28 of their 30 Liga FA matches last year. They uh, retain the title. Their fourth top flight title in a row they really are the formidable force in Spanish women's football right now and anyone who makes the journey to this particular part of Catalonia knows that they are in for a tough 90 minutes they need to be organized they need to be disciplined early on Valencia numbers behind the ball you can see that flat back line of five looking to try and frustrate the home side Barcelona, though, will be seeing a lot of the ball. Can they find the space and create the opportunities? Here's Torrejon. Already Carolina Graham Hansen with a little bit of space on this right-hand side. Bon Mati with the ball across. The danger snuffed out at the near post. First warning signs, though, for the visitors. Here's Paredes. Happy Leon not alongside her for this one. Fernandez getting the nod. Leon is on the bench. Pretty strong bench as well. Lucy Bronze, Inglenien, Mapi Leon, Asisat Oshawara, Claudia Pina, Villamala. Here is Bob Matti. What a year she has had. Patry. First shot, and the first save is spilled, and Pateas was following up, but Salon got there at the second time of asking. Called into action for the first time. Just dug the ball out from underneath her feet and thought, why not? Mariana Caldente trying to bend it into that bottom corner. Valencia have already stood firm for longer than they did against Real Madrid in the opening match of the season. They were 1-0 down on the opening day after just 39 seconds. Here is Real tidying up but can only put it out for a throw. And the pattern of the match has already been established, you sense. All the action away to the right-hand side. Here is Paredes. Patrick the run of Pateas. Not going to see much of the ball, those orange shirts. Pateas. Releases Boots. That falls kindly for Caldente, who sees her shot blocked. Another long-range effort, just off target. Patry, I think it was. Already less than five minutes played and the shot's beginning to rain in on goal. That one from distance. Not too far off target. Evolution, not revolution for Barcelona, you sense, this summer. Losing uh, several players, bringing in a couple 
of additions to strengthen the squad. Like Adina moving to Arsenal. And Maria Sinagorcevic to Atletico Madrid. Jace to Manchester United. Nuria Rabano has left as well. A couple of additions in Esme Brutz and Honor Bache. Both of whom are lining up this evening down the left-hand side for Barcelona. And with Alexia Pateas getting a full pre-season under her belt after her long-term injury, it's like a new signing. Of course, she returned to action after that injury towards the end of last season. But she is back to full fitness now and leading the line for Barcelona once again this evening. Is Florentino back to Salon. Let's see, haven't seen much of the ball in the opening six minutes. They just need to try and get their foot on the ball, get a feel for it. Sandra Panios a long way out of her goal, tidying up. Might be a long evening for uh, Yanuzzi. Fiamma Benitez, who's leading the line for Valencia this evening, a lone striker, number 10, you can just see at the bottom of your picture. Cutting an isolated figure. Here she is again. Real. Checks a little bit of pace. Feeds it through. Marty, can she keep it in? She doesn't quite. Goal kick given. Marina Marti back in the starting 11 for Valencia this evening. Jonathan Giraldez claiming that that victory in the Champions League, that come from behind against Wolfsburg, 3-2 in Eindhoven, was the best day of his life. Barcelona winning Europe's premier club competition for the second time in three years. Jesus Olivia, the second spell in charge of uh, Valencia. Here's a chance, Carolina Graham Hansen. Well, she had plenty of time to try and pick her spot, unable to find the target. She was onside, took a couple of touches. Mateas feeding it through, they appealed. How letter it was at left back who was looking longingly at the assistant on this near side. The flag wasn't forthcoming. Salon, the goalkeeper, was the sole representative of the Valencia squad. For Spain's victory down in Australia. Two of the three goalkeepers who travelled with Spain for that uh, victory down under. We're on display here, we've got Salon in goal for Valencia. Catacoy on the bench for Barcelona. Here is Patry. Carolina Graham Hansen will give chase and she'll get there ahead of Pauletta and she's in behind once again and that is an own goal. Disaster for Valencia. Carolina Graham Hansen in space, in the box once again. There was a warning sign a few moments ago. But Valencia were unable to heed the warnings and Barcelona are up and running in their first home game of the season. Really good determination by Carolina Graham Hansen who uh, got there ahead of Pauletta and then it's fist across the face of goal. She could feel the presence of Bon Matti. Florentino it was, sliding in, diverting it past her own goalkeeper. And Barcelona had the advantage.
Claudia Florentino scoring the own goal. A summer arrival from Real Madrid. She was under a huge amount of pressure, but she knew Bon Mati was behind her. since Barcelona last suffered a home league defeat February 2019 when they went down to Huelva this place is such a fortress and Valencia going behind early it could be a long 80 minutes for them wasn't the most convincing victory at Quelva well, last time out for Barcelona. I know they can often put teams to the sword. Scoring four, five, six, seven goals, eight on occasions. It was a 2-1. Quelva giving a good showing. Here's Bon Mati. Patry. Behind Torrejon, who goes all the way back to Sandra Panios. and Barcelona win it back, it's Patrick just trying to feed it through oh look at that from Caldente fancy footwork, she wins the free kick as well Mariana Caldente only uh, 10 years at the club now signed back in 2014 Torrejon. Paredes well, opens up for her. Torrejon on the overlap. Caldente, Puteas. Paredes wins it. Here's Fernandez, 21 year old. Made her Barcelona debut at the age of 16. She was the second youngest player to do so. In the professional era, Ana Fernandez alongside Paredes in defence this evening. Carolina Graham Hansen, who got the assist for the opening goal a few moments ago. She just beat Pauletta, didn't she, to the ball for that goal. Pauletta sliding in. It's her second spell at the club. She's come in the starting 11 for this one this evening in at left back Paredes Patry Fernandez Pateas comes deep looking for the ball looking to make things happen feeding it through can't pick out Carolina Graham Hansen Heavy touch and Barcelona win it back through Patry. Fernandez, everyone back behind the ball for the visitors. Inuzzi, they just need to try and keep possession, but it's easier said than done against this Barcelona side. Lopez being forced backwards by Carolina Graham Hansen. Trying to break the press, the Barcelona press. 
Portales. Fancy footwork, goes backwards, but they at least keep the ball, and that's switched nicely. Real is busting along down that right flank. They've got infield to the captain, Marta Caro. Molina. Real gets there first, ahead of Bonabache, who concedes the free kick, and a chance for Valencia to try and commit some orange shirts forward for this. set-piece opportunity, perhaps a chance to ask some questions of this Barcelona backline for the first time in this contest. Sandra Palios has been a mere spectator so far. It's deep. Palios will comfortably collect. Bache has made a run down that left flank. Pateas looking for it through the middle. It's quite a high line Valencia are playing at the moment. Barcelona looking perhaps to try and exploit the space in behind. Paredes. Patri. There is the ball over the top. Too much on it. And then Salon will deal with it comfortably. Graham Hansen, does she get the return? First time ball, that's going to go behind for a corner. Set piece opportunity for the home side now. Carolina Graham Hansen, one of those who signed a new contract with Barcelona last season. Fernandez, Enyen, Rolfa, Paredes, Coy, Pina, all signed new deals last year. And those who have left the club over the summer. Here it comes. That's good goalkeeping from Salon. She's got two caps in total for Spain. Didn't make an appearance. at the Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. Portales unable to keep that one in. It's just over here, too much on it for her. Macarena Portales had a spell at Inter. Here's Patry. Brutz. Brutz again with the chance to cross. Another corner. 20 years old. Arrived from PSV on a four-year deal. Scored a couple of goals at the Women's World Cup against Vietnam for the Netherlands. Versatile, she was in at left-back against Welva, but is in a more advanced position for this one this evening. 20 minutes gone, corner to Barcelona. Creating the angle. Portales. Lopez. Pauletta. 
just trying to commit some numbers forward now using the width. Here is pa Pauletta. Helps in on its way, looking for Portales, but Paredes is there to tidy up. Back to Panios. So hard to play against this Barcelona side. They don't give you any time on the ball. And they seem to have plenty of time themselves. Bon Mati in space. Carrying Graham Hansen. Looking for Pateas. Oh no, that's surely not another own goal, is it? It is! Oh my word! A calamitous own goal! She's done it again! Claudia Florentino has scored two own goals in the opening 20 minutes. You have to feel for her. Again, it was Carolina Graham Hansen, a first time ball. And again, she could see and feel and sense Alexia Pateas behind her. She just swung a leg at it. I think it came off the shin. There was nothing Salon could do. Carolina Graham Hansen with the assist once again. Claudia Florentino with the own goal once again. Well, that is quite remarkable. Cheers on a hat trick of own goals. You have to feel sorry for her. You have to feel sorry for Valencia. You come with a game plan. Undone by two mistakes. And it's uh, Carolina Graham Hansen down this right hand side who found the space on both occasions. Bache in at left back for Barcelona on a Bache, the arrival from Manchester United. She's returned home actually. She's a La Masia product. Was unable to break through into the first team as a youngster. Played for Madrid Club de Football, Levante, Manchester United. She's taken the scenic route, but she is back in Barcelona colours. Carolina Graham Hansen. Wins a corner. This time it comes off of Pauletta. the far post and Salon will collect at the near post looking to send them on their way early just didn't really have any options on Lopez Quickly, it's won back by Barcelona. Bon Mati, Patri, Fernandez. Brutz in front of her. Just going backwards to Paredes. Fernandez. Portales. Not too many options. Waiting for support. Patrick gets the toe in. Barcelona win it back. Patrick. Paredes on the way back to Sandra Panios. A couple of touches in the opening 25 minutes for the Barcelona keeper. Not a save to make as of yet. This time, Barcelona coming down the left hand side. Pateas calling for it on the penalty spot. Here she is, cut out by Florentino. Graham Hansen. Brutz. Caldente. 
Well, given away to Patrick. In a really dangerous position. You don't really need to give Barcelona a helping hand. Patrick. Coteas. Caldente. Only twice last season did Barcelona drop points. They drew at Sevilla and then lost at Madrid Club to Football on the final day. The title had long since been won, though, at that point. Carolina Graham Hansen finding the space yet again. Can't pick out Brutz. Caldente trying to keep it alive and does. She's got Bon Mati on the edge of the area. Bon Mati has Fernandez in space to the right hand side, she goes to the left. Actually stands it up. Looking dangerously, aren't they, at the back? A wry smile. She's seen her teammate score two own goals. Another set piece then for the home side. Bon Mati. Puteas. Bon Mati again. It's all very intricate on the edge of the area, but they found the space. Bon Mati with a chance to cross to the far post. Headed back into the danger zone. Not quite dealt with by Valencia, who should get it clear now. Letter who's down. Just sandwiched by two Barcelona players, wasn't she? She's back to her feet. Thankfully, okay to continue. Well, this is the first goal. Pauletta sliding in. Carolina Graham Hansen winning it. Claudia Florentino putting it into her own net. That was after 10 minutes. got worse for Florentino who did it again it's her second spell as I mentioned at Valencia she arrived from Real Madrid where she made 38 appearances in the Spanish capital it's been a match to forget so far for her though Pache Fernandez Marta Torreon I think it made the forward run Given away. Barcelona come again. Fernandez. Pereira. Fernandez. Keep ball for Barcelona right now. Patrick. Just waiting for the right moment to strike. Brutz. Fernandez. Patrick. Here is Marta Torreon. Oh, nice footwork from Bon Mati. Bon Mati going for goal. Created the chance herself. Just couldn't quite bend it into that bottom corner. The UEFA Player of the Year with some fancy footwork. Just couldn't apply the finish.
Carolina Graham Hansen once again, though, causing problems down the right flank. Just didn't quite bend enough, did it? Barcelona finished 10 points clear of Real Madrid last season. Such was their dominance. Keeping pace with this Barcelona side is the task. Snapshot from distance, straight down the throat of Salah. She's enjoying herself this evening, isn't she, Carolina Graham Hansen? 28-year-old Norwegian. Has been a thorn in this Valencia side in the opening half an hour. Quite coming off for Pateas, who then concedes the free kick. More than ten years at the club now, Alexia Pateas. Has she got the pace to keep that one in? Not quite. They were almost in behind. It was Marina Marti, who arrived in the summer from Alamar. Carolina Graham Hansen. Showtime. Twisting and turning. Wins the corner. She's giving that Valencia backline a torrid time so far in this contest. Up against Pauletta. Just couldn't get near her. Eventually was able to block the cross. Has concede another set piece opportunity. On that Teas first time. Salon under pressure, just about does enough. On that heads it backwards. Barcelona forced all the way back to Sandra Panios. Here's Patry. They'll come again. Patry. Caldente. Get the return from Brutz. Caldente again towards the byline. Well, last season, Valencia finished in ninth place. They were not really pushing for a place in Europe. There was no threat of relegation either. And 11 wins out of their 30 matches, 15 defeats. Last time out, there was a 2-1 victory for them at Villarreal. Yanuzzi and Aguasil, the goal scorers. And that following on from the opening day defeat to Real Madrid. Imagine their thoughts when they got the fixture list. Barcelona and Real Madrid to kickstart the campaign. Obviously this fixture, this particular fixture, rearranged from match day one. Hansen with the ball in again.
Al Dente. Puteas. Kelly Graham Hansen. Headed goalwards and Salon will calmly collect. Ten minutes to go then until half time. Barcelona good value for their lead. Well, you could argue two own goals. Kalina Graham Hansen hitting the post as well, but look at that, nine shots. Valencia so far have not had a sniff. create something then from this set piece. It's a decent ball in, perhaps just too far in front. And the flag goes up for offside. Opportunity goes begging for Valencia. between the lines. Karen Graham Hansen with space out wide. Bon Mati surging forward to join the attack. And a slightly loose pass by the Roy for player of the year. Bon Mati. and Karen Graham Hansen once again offering the outlet. Next, not to whip the ball into the box. Torrejon doesn't do so either. They elect to keep hold of the ball, Barcelona. Bon Mati. Graham Hansen has Brutz on the edge of the six-yard area. She goes for goal, forces the save from Salon, who was equal to it. She's got a couple of assists to her name so far in this match. Carolina Graham Hansen wasn't too far away from getting her name on the score sheet as well. Mati, low ball in, dealt with by the visitors, only as far as Bacek. Brutz, towards the head of Patry. Appeals for a penalty, quite strong appeals as well. Waved away by the officials. Certainly didn't seem to be any intent. Bon Mati. Graham Hansen, Puteas with space. Hansen with the chance to cross, goes back to Puteas, weaving some of her magic. Valencia have a player down in the box once again. After blocking the cross, I think she's uh, winded. Fancy footwork, wasn't it, by Alexia Pateas, and then drilled in to her chest. Just needs to try and catch her breath after that one. They could do without uh, losing one of their defenders, Mena Lopez. 
Mexican who arrived at the club in the summer. On loan from O.L. Rain. She also played her football in Iceland last season. And the humidity of Catalonia right now. Goal kick given. Warm evening, 23 degrees Celsius still, 74 Fahrenheit. Five minutes to go until half time. Can Valencia try and salvage something from this first half? And they have anything to show for their endeavours. Here is Patry. Fernandez. Bache has Brutz on the edge of the area. The next to go backwards. Fernandez. Pateas. Pulling the strings, making things happen from a slightly deeper position. She's run into the box now, trying to get on the end of a possible cross from Marta Torrijon. Can't get it across away. Valencia get it clear, but the ball is coming back almost immediately. Barcelona coming again. Bon Mati on the overlap. Patry. And it's Marta Caro in some discomfort. The captain, it's his seventh season at the club now. Former Atletico Madrid midfielder in the wars. Barcelona have taken it quickly and they've scored a third. Two minutes to go until half time, and that surely wraps up the victory, even at this early stage. Barcelona have the reward for their dominance in this first half. Aitana Bonmati on target for the first time this season. It was a quickly taken move. Carolina Graham Hansen with her third assist of the match. Bonmati with the header. Salon was rooted to the spot, she did not move. Well, that's probably just knocked the stuffing out of Valencia. Could have got to half time at 2 0. Maybe they would have felt they were still in the contest, but at three, it feels like a long, long way back. Here is the goal scorer, Bon Matti. She thought about it, didn't she? Patrick. Carolina the Grant Hansen again. They've left it unmarked. She has been a real thorn in their side. Paredes. Ron Hansen.
Three minutes added on at the end of the first 45. Plenty of time for Barcelona to add to their tally. Torrejon. Juan Mati. Intricate football from Barcelona on the edge of the box. Just lacking the final ball on that occasion. Paredes. Just always an extra option, isn't there, for Barcelona? Bache is that option right now. Patrick. Torrejon. Lines one up. Oh, they've hit the woodwork once again for the second time in this match. The woodwork is rattled. And Smarta Torrejon, who went for goal from distance. That is not far away. It was dipping, it was bending and swerving. Just off the top of the bar. Could be five or six. Lopez with the throw. Caro. Molina. Away from Bruce. Caldente is outnumbered. Finds Patrick. Finds Fernandez. away with it. Portales on the roaring run. Not too many options. Waiting for support. Just trying to feed it through. Just doesn't quite happen for Valencia in the final third. Barcelona always back in numbers. And by the time the ball has been held up waiting for support, the impetus of the attack has gone. That'll do for Barcelona in terms of the first half display. You have to feel for Claudia Florentino, the Valencia defender with not one but two own goals in the first 20 minutes, both from crosses from Carolina Graham Hansen, who then turned provider for Aitana Bonmati to head home the third on the stroke of half time. Barcelona's first home match of the new Liga FA season, and they are very much up and running and heading for all three points. Half time in this one, it's Barcelona three, Valencia nil. season, the San Francisco 49ers seem to face the Dallas Cowboys in one of those crucial games, and they lose. The Dallas Cowboys have taken the lead for the first time this afternoon. This guy, Rob Gustavo, comes in, the Cowboys beat the 49ers again. 49er fans, they've been through so much pain with the Cowboys. Lucky, throwing in the end zone. And to finally put a stake in their heart. We love kicking their ass. They ate it once, they can eat it again. Surprised to hear a owner even talk that way. Both franchises overcame phenomenal tragedies. Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot. 
Dallas? I don't, I don't know about Dallas. Kennedy was killed in Dallas. I have a Norman Rockwell painting. It's called The Toss. It's his most famous football painting. Every time I look at it, I see the 49ers and I see the Dallas Cowboys. seconds to go. Lawrence throwing to the end zone. Marvin Jones! They call it a touchdown! Jaguars going for two. Lawrence in the shotgun. Looking left. Throws left. And it's caught! Zay Jones! The Jags go up by one! Dobbs is hit from behind. The ball's out. They're calling this a fumble at the moment. And the return by Allen for the touchdown. Third and four. Blitz coming. Prescott throws backwards. And intercepted. Jenkins has another one. Racing down the sidelines. Rayshard Jenkins is going to win it. Second and seven. Wentz taking a deep shot. And it is caught! Brown again! What a catch by Deami Brown! His second touchdown of the day! Mariota, the pass, it's deflected in the air! It is picked off potentially by Washington! It is! It's Kendall Fuller! Heineke sets up, looking for Terry McCornett against Alexander! It is caught! Touchdown! Commanders take the lead! And now Heineke over the middle. It's Dotson. Dotson spins. Whoa! To the end zone. Touchdown! The greatest show on turf is the number one office of all time. We took the league by storm. If you put us into this era of NFL football, it might have been scary what we could have accomplished. Can't call yourself the greatest show on turf and not be the greatest. <laughs> Any guy that touched the ball could score. It's a track beat. They don't need a football, they need a baton. Now to defensive coordinators, anything is possible. This team officially a powerhouse, a juggernaut. Our place and how the game was changed is there. I just wish we would have had more Super Bowls to go along with it. I think it was a dynasty for that short time. I don't know if anybody will ever do that again. I still believe that collection of talent, that it's the best offense that the NFL has ever seen. Joe looking for the first down. Sweeping to the right. He's going to get it. Breaking tackles and down the sideline. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Cleveland. What a punt here by Johnston. Peoples-Jones going to play it from the 25. Breaks a couple of tackles. Peoples-Jones still going. Maintains his balance. It's a foot race. Peoples-Jones will score. York to try to win the game. The kick. Oh, look at this. There's the distance. And Cade York wins it for Cleveland. Fourth and 10. Brissett. Throws back on oh, the end zone. What a catch! I've been waiting for Njoku to score a touchdown so I can talk about him. After missing much of his first year with a torn ACL, Burrow has resembled a superhero. He led the Bengals to back to back division titles for the first time in franchise history. Joe Burr getting it done in the cold. And when the temperature dropped, the cooler Joe Cool seemed to get. A 23 yard throw right on the money to Trenton Irwin. The postseason has been Joe's season. He has already won five playoff games, three on the road. 
he's like a stone cold killer, man. Uh, he, it doesn't matter who he's playing, he expects to win. People say that, but until you see people that have that mentality, then you really know. Let's keep the camera on, on me, y'all. And it's caught by Tyreek Hill. Right Got side, him. wide open touchdown, Tyreek Hill. In his first season in Miami, Tyreek Hill broke the Dolphins' single-season record for receiving yards. Tyreek Hill has now passed Mark Clayton for all-time yards in a season. An impressive feat, considering Miami started three quarterbacks in 2022. Hey, we gotta get one, oh! We gotta get points now! He's very dangerous, you know. I think he's one of the most dangerous guys that I ever played against. He's in for the touchdown! Because he's a walking touchdown anytime he step on the field. Tyreek Hill, never a doubt! Wow! Hill's incredible, man. He's incredible. His energy is not by accident that he is as productive and as special as he is. Fred Warner is one of the best linebackers in the league, one of the better players on that San Fran defense that's, you know, been top in the league for a while now, and he's a force to be reckoned with. He gets sacked! Fred Warner hit him! He's definitely a guy that it seems like he's just gonna stick his nose out there and do whatever he needs to do to get the job done. I mean, he runs around, plays sideline to sideline, always a guy that just act like he got his hair on fire. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, remember this, we hate these boys, let's smoke these boys! Top wood, carry water. He is the reason that our defense is as good as they are. We have amazing defensive players, we have talent all over the roster, but the engine that's burning is Fred Warner, and that is what makes him such a special player. This 49er team has everything. I don't know how the 49ers can be beaten. Put it in three-inch headline. We will win. It was our moment, and it was our time. The Cowboys are going to a Super Bowl. This was the Hatfields against the McCoys that surpasses this whole concept of, quote, arrival. When the two teams came out to be introduced, look what happened. You got the easy job. You just flip the coin. The 49ers-Cowboys rivalry has just had some great, iconic moments. The tremendous play by Alvin Harper. Half the Cowboy team is on the field claiming pass interference. Moments in time you can remember where you were. Steve Young, they said he couldn't win the big one. How about them Cowboys? Yeah! I hate those Cowboys. Whoever won would go on to win that Super Bowl. Throwing into the wind, way down the field. Oh my goodness! This is going to be 98 yards to Gabe Davis. A 98 yard explosion. Josh Allen to Gabe Davis. Here's Allen. Trying to go deep to Davis. He pulled it in. Incredible catch. Oh! Incredible is right. This is a, what is going on today. There's so much red. That's in this. crazy. We're underway as New England decided to defer after winning the toss. And here's Hines on the run back, breaking a tackle and taking it past midfield. And down the sideline he goes. This is storybook. An opening kickoff return for Tamar Hamlin. And this place is absolutely going wild. Oh, you just said this is storybook. This is almost fate. I just can't believe what just happened. Josh Allen, the same thing. Burrow throwing this side of the field. Jamar Chase with the catch and up the sideline. And there he goes. Jamar Chase to the end zone for the touchdown. Here's the pass down the field. And look at the catch. Leaping into the air and coming down with it. Able to seal him. Here's the pass. Oh, what a catch. Leaping into the air and pulling it down is T. Higgins, and the Bengals are an extra point away from tying the game. 27 yards. Put them right around Hundley. He reaches. Oh, that ball's out. That's live. Back the other way, Sam Hubbard. The Cincinnati kid. Hubbard's got a convoy. Chased by Andrews. At the 30, the 20, he will 
Score! And Sam Hubbard, who grew up a Bengals fan, won a state championship at Moeller High School, makes the massive play to take it the other way and give the Bengals the lead. Well, as the two sides make their way back out onto the field of play, plenty to ponder for Valencia, and in particular, Claudia Florentino, whose two own goals in the first 20 minutes set Barcelona on their way. Bon Mati made it 3-0 just before the break as they prepare a double change to Valencia. Yvonne Chacon, one of those coming on. Asun Martinez will enter proceedings as well. Just trying to change it up a little bit to see if they can provide more of a threat in the second half. Not one shot on target in the first 45. So Martinez and Chacon enter proceedings. It will be Barcelona who will kick off the second half in their familiar home kit, attacking the goal away to our left-hand side. Chacon coming on, a Colombian. Who, uh, played 13 minutes at the World Cup against England in the quarter-final. Also, Asun Martinez, the 21-year-old who's uh, not scored since January. Now would be an opportune moment for her to do so. As Valencia try and work their way back into this match in the second half, but Barcelona... such a formidable force 
And it's going to be a tough ask for the visitors to try and stop the juggernaut or slow it down in the second half. Caroline Graham Hansen playing down the right flank on the right wing was a real threat throughout the first 45 minutes. Shackle goes to ground and her first contribution is to concede a free kick. Wrestling Paredes to the ground. Caldente. Here's Bache. A little bit of space for Bache. Fernandez. Paredes closed down by Shaco. Patrick gets the toe in. Plays the 1-2 with Pateas. Pateas wins it back. And wins the free kick. Molina, the culprit. So an opportunity then for Barcelona early on in this second half with a set piece. Patry is over it. of course who scored twice in the uh, Champions League final a few months ago Bache with the chance to cross Pateas can't quite win it back Pauleta helps it on its way Chacon gives chase wins the throw Portales Florentino. They're just trying to keep hold of the ball, but they played themselves almost into trouble. They've been forced backwards here, Valencia. They are keeping possession, but they're not going anywhere. Salon's ball is intercepted. Patry picks it up. Brut's going to ground, nothing given by the officials. Martinez trying to keep it in, she does so, but Barcelona win it back. Patry. Space for Pateas. She goes to ground again. Half-hearted appeal for a penalty, not given. Waved away by the officials. Fernandez. Rather sloppy ball by Fernandez. She wins it back at the second time of asking. Patrick. Caldente. Pateas to Patrick. The second half, perhaps unsurprisingly, starting in similar fashion to the first. Barcelona seeing a lot of the ball. Martinez. Back to goal. She's in a bit of a tight spot here. She does well to win the free kick. And he was announced as uh, interim coach in January. Signed a new deal in the summer. Jesus Olivia. up for them they taking on that last plan as at home flag stays down Alexi Pateas is in behind forcing the save from Salon well they cut them open Pateas was bearing down on goal she had one thing on her mind and that was getting her shot away even though Caroline the Graham Hansen was perhaps in a better position to her right hand side she fancied getting her name on the score sheet. They have to settle for a corner. Taken short. Well worked. There's one from the training ground. Martinez has her ankles clipped. No free kick given. Here's Bon Mati. Can feed it through for Proteas. Looking for Brutz on the edge of the six yard area. Cut out at the near post. Caldente 
And the ball takes a deflection, eventually finds its way to Pateas, who finds her way to the ground. Wins the throw in the process. Well, Barcelona won this fixture 5-1 last season. They're on course for a similar scoreline today, you sense. Oh, well, that's been given away, and now Paredes is back pedalling. Fernandez likewise, Shackle making the run through the middle. It's three on three here if they can play it properly. Portales being closed down by Caldente, and the pace has been lost from the move, but they will have a free kick. And a Caldente, the culprit. Well, it was a half chance, wasn't it? There, a swift counter attack for Valencia. Shackle was bursting through the middle. in that 5-1 victory in this fixture last season. Two players scored a brace that day, neither of whom are in the squad for Barcelona this time around. Fridolina Rolfa, of course, a long-term absentee after having surgery on her knee. And Selma Pariuelo scored twice as well in this fixture last season. An extended break after her exploits during the World Cup. Fans in full voice. They've waited several months to see their heroes back in action at the Estadi Johan Cruyff. Well worth the wait. With their side, three goals to the good. And looking to make it four. Settle for the corner. Given. Valencia in possession, being forced backwards. When they do keep hold of the ball, they lose a lot of territory. The press from Barcelona, very effective. Here's a chance for Brutz. First time shot, straight at Salon. Jack on. They got to well, Valencia. A little bit of space, perhaps, for Martinez. Can they ask a question of this Barcelona defence? Portales. Marta Caro's joined the attack. It's a long range effort, and Sandra Panios will watch that wide all day long.
space again on that right flank. Callum Graham Hansen. Bon Mati just doesn't fall kindly for Barcelona. Caldente was lurking, looking, waiting to pull the trigger. She picks it up now. Mateus has dropped deeper. Patient this from Barcelona. Caldente goes on a slalom through the middle. Just uh, undercut that pass somewhat and put Patri in a spot of bother. No real choice but to concede the free kick. Look at the space. Caldente and Brutes making a run through the middle. Callum Graham Hansen going on the outside. Manages to get the cross in, but it's snuffed out by Marta Caro, the captain, back helping out her defence. Shack on. Thought she was away. Whistle goes. First yellow card of the match. That's the substitute who goes into the book. Triple change being readied for Barcelona. Fernandez makes way. Mappy Leon. Replacing her. Well, we've only played 58 minutes, but you wonder if it's a player of the match performance from Karen Graham Hansen, who was also withdrawn, as is Patry. Ingrid Enyen coming on. Claudia Pina entering proceedings as well. They do have such strength in depth, don't they? Bache, dangerous ball across the face of goal. Well, we've seen already in this match that dangerous balls across the face of goal like that, anything can happen. Just ask Claudia Florentino. Here is Mappy Leon, her first touch. Bache. Leon. Pache in space with a chance to pick out Pateas, who can't quite pick out the top corner. Salon was equal to it. A really well worked move that by Barcelona. Pache pulling it back for Pateas, who timed her run to perfection. A decent effort, but Salon with a fingertip save. Now Valencia have a set piece to try and defend. A ninth corner for the home side. Caldente causing problems at the near post. They've taken it short. Bon Mati with a chance to stand it up, perhaps. Whipped in towards the near post. It's an awkward one. It's gone all the way through. I'm not sure if she got a touch or not. <laughs> Mappy Leon asking if she can claim it. She's only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. And the substitute is up and running. I think that's going to go down as a goal for the defender. Her first of the season. Did anyone get a touch? Ingrid Enyen making the run to the near post. I'm not sure she did, you know. Mappy Leon. He's going to claim that one. Is there a touch here from the Norwegian? I don't think so. Yep, Ingrid Enyen 
admitting she didn't get a touch. Barcelona have their fourth. Leon has her first of the season. She's only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. Now she's on the score sheet. Pache. Caldente. Bon Mati. Brutz claims handball and the referee agrees and gives the penalty. Valencia's night goes from bad to worse. They can protest all they like, they're not going to change her mind. The decision has been given and a penalty has been awarded. It was Brutes with the ball in, Pauletta oh, were her arms in an unnatural position. The referee certainly thought so. No mistake. Alexia Pateas with her first goal of the season. Barcelona have a fifth and they are running away with this one now. Two goals in two minutes. Barcelona's first home match of the season. They are heading for all three points. Perfectly placed, wasn't it? Into the side netting, the inside of the side netting. And it is uh, party time in Catalonia now. Well, they hit them for five in this fixture last season. Valencia were able to get on the scoreboard at least last season in that 5-1 defeat. We've still got uh, just under half an hour to go. We fear it could get a lot worse for Valencia. Here's Claudio Pina. Another one of the substitutes. Bon Mati, Mateas making a run through the middle. Caldente peeling off to this left-hand side. Got Bache for company. Leon's there as well. Caldente. A little touch from Pateas. And they are cooking with gas now, Barcelona. Happy Leon. Time to line it up. Five to aim for. Leon again. Alex to go short. Pateas, lovely turn. Tame effort in the end. The turn was good. Not enough power in the effort. Press working again. Valencia have possession, but they can't really do anything with it. Forced into the error. Pateas picks it up. Fancy footwork. Boots. Bache. Leon. of a left foot that she has. It's already caused some damage. Looking to cause some more. Pache. It's 
going to be a long half hour for Valencia. Lovely ball in, flick goalwards and flick behind by Salon. Bon Mati with the thumbs up. She wasn't far away from getting her second of the evening. Mappy Leon's dangerous ball into the near post. She timed her run to perfection, met it on the volley, and that was creeping in. Salon denying her. A well-worked corner, or is it? No, not quite. Between the two of them. And two seasons ago, it was a perfect season for Barcelona, winning all 30 of their matches. As I mentioned, they dropped uh, a couple of points last season, winning 28 of their 30 matches. I just wonder if they're going to be as dominant once again. Will anyone be able to give them a run for their money? Bache wins the corner. Is anyone able to live with Barcelona this season? Real Madrid were the closest last year. Or in some way short in the end. Will Barcelona head towards another perfect campaign? It looks like being a perfect start to the campaign. Three wins from three. This is their opening home match, of course. Bon Mati. Caldente. That's going to be another corner. They are piling on the pressure here. Hard work for these Valencia players. They know that the match has gone as a contest. Want to avoid uh, humiliation, which we know Barcelona are more than capable of handing out. Von Mati with a teasing one to the far post. A couple of players have gone down. Goal kick given. Paredes up from the back. Feeling she was impeded off the ball. On the penalty spot was uh, Real, who tangled with the Barcelona centre half. Next up for. Barcelona, it's uh, Real Sociedad at home, then Atletico Madrid away, Granada at home. Of course, the uh, UEFA Women's Champions League starting slightly later this season than in previous years. The uh, Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand, meaning uh, of the domestic leagues and the uh, UEFA Women's Champions League have delayed their starts. Qualification still taking place for the uh, Champions League. We don't yet know the 16 teams that will compete in the group stage. We do know Barcelona will be there. Leon. Bache on the overlap. What a homecoming for her. Leon's dangerous ball in, headed out at the near post. One bat, though, by Ingrid Enyen. Gets a toe in. Finds Paredes. Bon Mati. Ingrid Enyen in a bit of space. Leon. Caldente. Mateas. What a lovely ball for Claudia Pino. Just couldn't quite take it in her stride. She keeps it alive, though. Tees up Bon Mati. Who can't quite pull the trigger. Bon Mati again. Lovely ball in. Pateas. Is she onside? Flag stays down. Goal stands. Barcelona have another one. Or do they? Let's have a look at this again. Oh, she's offside. 
They just stepped up in time. Good defending in the end by Molina and Real, who stepped up to ensure that uh, Alexi Pateas was offside. A night to forget for Florentino as she makes way. A couple of own goals. She is replaced by Sara Tamarit. Made 11 appearances last season in what was her breakthrough campaign. Barcelona doing the double over Valencia last season. We've mentioned the 5-1 victory here. They also won 4-0 in the away game. The strength and depth that they have compared with the rest of the league is, is something else. On the bench, still Lucy Bronze, Asisat Oshawala, Bruna. Villamala still Rolfa out injured, Paruelo to return, Kira Walsh to return. And then bringing through the youngsters as well. And the likes of Lucia Corrales. Julia Dragoni on the bench this evening, the 16-year-old uh, Italian, signed from Inter Milan. As uh, Brutz makes way, another youngster, she's only 20. It is Asisa Oshuala who comes on. One goal in her one appearance so far this season for Asisat Oshawala. She'll be looking to add to her tally in the next 17 minutes or so. And Bruna Villamela enters proceedings as well. She's still looking for her first of the campaign. Torrejon goes for goal. Oh, wow. Perfectly placed free kick. What a wonderful goal from Marta Torrejon. Her first of the season, and she bags it in style. Well, it was a perfectly placed free kick. Bend, whip, curl, pace, precision. It had it all. Absolutely nothing Salon could do. That is textbook. Well, I mentioned the uh, victory at Huelva last time out for Barcelona perhaps wasn't the most convincing. This one certainly is. Valencia won't be judged on what happens in this match, of course, as they look to improve on last year's ninth place finish. The highest they ever finished was third back in 2017. The club has a lot of ground to make up, you sense. If they are to start trying to compete with the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid on a more regular basis. Jesus Olivia in charge, who was sporting director in 2021. That's a long range effort that's harmless. He's had plenty of jobs at the club, coordinator of the youth academy, which the first team assistant, sporting director, and this is his second spell as first team coach. I know Aguasil prepares to uh, enter proceedings. 17 year old. <laughs> uh, 
Aguasil, who's just come on when the under 17 Women's World Cup last summer, 2022. She was in the under 17 squad again this summer. Into the final 15 minutes. Strength and depth really doing the damage in this one. Just able to bring so much quality off the bench when Valencia started to tire in the second half. And look at the space and the gaps that they are leaving now. Barcelona looking to exploit them. Caldente. Tamarit with the defending. Gets it clear. Only as far as Ingrid Enyen, though. And Mati Enyen. Aldente. Bacha. Oh, that's a miscue clearance. A gift for Barcelona. Claudia Pina going for goal. Scored 100 goals to Claudia Pino in 20 appearances at youth level one season. She's already got one to her name in this campaign. So we've already mentioned the players that have left Barcelona this summer. Cadena, Ramirez, Snegorcevic. Jace, Rabano. A lot of quality that the club have waved goodbye to. Brutz and Bache arriving, plus the youngsters coming through. It certainly doesn't look as if Barcelona have been weakened by the departures. They look just as strong as they did last season. nil victory in the Spanish capital against Madrid Club de Football in the opening game. That victory at Huelva the last time out and now this. This is the first real statement victory though you would say. titles, including the last four. Nine Copa de la Reina's, a couple of Champions Leagues. Of course, they will be looking to complete the treble this season, something they were unable to do last season after fielding an ineligible player. They were eliminated from the competition, they were chucked out they finished with two trophies instead of the three that they had their eyes on. It's pretty much the closest that Valencia have come in this contest. It's a wait until the 80th minute. Same with Panios, I think, always confident it was sailing high and wide. Game's going to be a little bit stretched now, you sense, in the final ten minutes. They still do have that back five, Valencia, trying to keep a flat back five. Disciplined, organised, but hasn't been enough. Barcelona just too good. Al Dente. Bache. Oh, Bache was opening up for her. Bon Mati can't pull the trigger. Paredes back to Bon Mati. Paredes again. And 
just wonder what this side can do when they welcome back the likes of Kira Walsh and Selma Pariwelo. Frightening. Sandra Panios in goal has been a spectator, particularly in this second half she's had almost nothing to do away to her right hand side she might be called into action now though as Yvonne Chacon picks it up Nita Marcos is on the edge of the six yard area it doesn't fall for her Barcelona get it clear just wonder if there's going to be a competition for that number one jersey this season for Barcelona Katakoy already featured in Liga F this season. Just wonder if she will give Sandra Panios a run for her money in terms of being the number one. Coy, of course, was part of that uh, successful World Cup winning squad for Spain. Sandra Panios was not. Is it Molina? Molina again. Martinez goes for goal. Well, there's been a couple of half chances in the last few moments for Valencia. Bache. Off she goes, gets the ball in towards the far post. That wasn't far away, was it, from number seven? Honor Bache surging down that left flank, getting the ball in. It was a perfectly weighted cross, a perfectly placed cross. Villamela just unable to direct it goalwards. to the face. Salon hasn't really been at fault for any of the goals. Picked the ball out of her net six times. A couple of decent stops as well. Otherwise, it could be worse for Valencia. The other end, Panios, is pretty much her first touch. Asisa Oshawala tries to take the ball in her stride. Can she create space for the shot? She does, but it's blocked. Martinez with her back to goal, being closed down. Given away to Caldente. Bonmati. Lovely ball in, Asisat Oshawala miscontrols it. That was a chance, a real chance. She knows it. 
player of her quality. Her nose for goal. Knows that that was a chance, but I think she was saved by the flag on the far side, up for offside. So job done for Barcelona. It's never been in doubt, really, from the tenth minute when they took the lead through that unfortunate own goal. Martinez just trying to find a consolation for Valencia. Claudia Pina picks it up, outnumbered. That's Panios. Salon being closed down by Oshawala. Still they come. They are just relentless. Mappy Leon. Perfectly placed. Salon unable to collect. Villamela keeps it alive. Just off target from Bon Matty. has made a run through the middle. Claudio Pina on the edge of the area as well. Bon Matti. Has Real for company. Ingrid Enyen. Paredes. Trujon. Slightly sloppy from Barcelona and it is not often you say that. Oh, just kept in. Paredes. Caldente. Pina. Bache with a chance to cross. Lay on. First time ball. Filomela will scamper across to keep it in. Under no pressure, she does so. Ingrid Enyan. Four minutes of additional time added on at the end of the 90. Salon watches that into her gloves. Well, last plan ass at home next up for Valencia. Will have uh, started the campaign with one victory, two defeats from their three games, but those two defeats have come against Real Madrid and Barcelona. 
sides that perhaps, perhaps they were expecting to lose to anyway. They'll be on three points. That uh, victory over Villarreal. The fact that uh, Barcelona have scored six without reply here this evening means that as it stands, they would move top ahead of Real Madrid on goal difference. She's in behind on a bache, pulls it back for Claudia Pina. She sees her effort blocked. You just wonder, it's only match day, well, it's effectively match day one, this fixture. It's the third match of the season after it was rearranged. Bon Mati, come back to that. It's Barcelona building something here. Deflected and in. They have a seventh. Barcelona in seventh heaven. They have destroyed Valencia. She gets in on the act as well. It took a deflection off of Marta Torrijon, but Bruno Villamela will claim the goal. Her first of the season. Oh, now, Shakon with a chance for a consolation, perhaps for Valencia. It's tipped wide by Sandra Panios. Martinez. to wait for her first uh, goal of the season. Raiders in some discomfort here. Maybe it's nothing too serious. Late in the match, into the fifth minute of stoppage time. to her feet. Job done, Barcelona. 
their first home match of the season and they have sealed the victory in style. They've seen off Valencia by six goals to nil. Three in the first half, three in the second. A brace of own goals from Claudio Florentino sent them on their way. Bon Mati made it three before half time. Mappy lay on a penalty from Alexia Pateas and a wonderful free kick from Marta Torrejon made it six. Bruno Villamela had a goal disallowed in stoppage time, but uh, the reigning champions begin their home campaign in style. They've seen off Valencia by six goals to nil.